Picture yourself in a sepia-toned world where the sun sets low and dust dances in the breeze. It's a place where the clatter of hooves on cobblestone streets and the distant whistle of a train create a symphony of the Old West. Now, imagine stepping into this realm through the magic of a flickering screen, where tales of courage, camaraderie, and conflict come alive. In 1959, a television series emerged that would etch its name into the annals of classic Western storytelling, Laramie. As the screen lights up, you find yourself transported to the rugged landscapes of Wyoming, a setting that becomes as much a character as the individuals who roam its wild terrain. Lurie Me isn't just a show, it's an expedition into the heart of an era marked by ten-gallon hats, six shooters, and a code of honor that thrived amidst chaos. Perhaps your first encounter with this series was a serendipitous stumble upon its charismatic characters, the stalwart Slim Sherman, the resilient Jess Harper, and the ever-dependable Andy Sherman. These figures, flawlessly brought to life by the actors, found their way into our hearts, embodying the essence of the West's unforgiving spirit and the unwavering bonds of brotherhood. As episodes unfold, each tale encapsulates the struggles of frontier life, the tussles with cattle rustlers, the battles against nature's furies, and the tension of uncertain alliances. But among the gripping narratives and gunslinging showdowns, it's the quieter moments that truly resonate. A shared glance, a heartfelt conversation, a fleeting smile that speaks volumes. These moments remind us that even in the harshest of landscapes, humanity's touch endures. Random facts about Larry Me add an extra layer of intrigue to this timeless saga. Did you know that the show was one of the first to be filmed in color, bringing the vibrant hues of the West to life in a new way? And speaking of firsts, the series didn't shy away from addressing complex issues, offering a glimpse into the social dynamics of the time. So, if you've ever found yourself reminiscing about the dust-kissed adventures of Laramie, or if you're just embarking on your journey into the past, remember that this show isn't merely a collection of episodes. It's a canvas on which the spirit of the West dances, and a reflection of the human experience that knows no boundaries, just like the prairies that stretch as far as the eye can see. Immerse yourself in the tales of Laramie, and you might just find yourself yearning for a simpler time when honor was a given and the sound of hooves echoed in every heart. Replacing talent, a shift in the winds of Larry Me in the annals of classic television. The 1959 series Larry Me stands tall as a testament to the Western genre's enduring allure. Amid the rugged landscapes and dramatic tales, one particular shift in the cast reverberated through the show's narrative and beyond. Robert Crawford Jr., a stalwart presence in the first two seasons, found himself ousted, making way for the entrance of Dennis Holmes. Crawford's exit after two seasons was a surprising turn of events, leaving fans intrigued and speculating about the reasons behind the change. The young actor's departure opened the door for Dennis Holmes to step into the western world of Laramie. The transition proved seamless, as Holmes slid into the role with remarkable ease, bringing his own flair to the character dynamics that viewers had come to love. As Holmes settled into his role, the series continued to flourish, embodying the spirit of the Old West against a backdrop of the Universal Studios' western street. Surprisingly, despite its association with the Warner Brothers lot, the show's exterior sets were located at Universal International Studios, providing the picturesque setting for the fictional town of Laramie. This historic backdrop, known affectionately as Laramie Street, became a linchpin of the show's visual identity. Over the years, Laramie Street would weave its way into Hollywood lore, becoming a versatile set utilized in various Warner Brothers projects long after the show's end. The street's enduring presence stood as a testament to the lasting legacy of Laramie and its impact on the entertainment industry. Yet, as times changed and modernity beckoned, Laramie Street met its final curtain call in 2000, making way for a new chapter of cinematic storytelling. While these narrative shifts and physical settings have left their indelible mark on television history, one intriguing connection emerges from the show's past. Long before Robert Fuller's collaboration with Julie London on Emergency, London herself graced the small screen of Laramie as the sheriff's estranged wife and card dealer. Their paths had crossed previously, a notable encounter occurring five years prior during Fuller's U.S. Army days. In the vast panorama of television history, Laramie remains a timeless Western saga. 
From casting changes that redefined its trajectory to the iconic Laramie Street that embraced its characters, the show's legacy endures, leaving an indelible In mark on the golden age of television. The TV series Laramie graced American screens, offering a glimpse into the rugged tales of the Old West. Set against the backdrop of Laramie, Wyoming in the 1870s, a time when the town's population surged from 828 in the 1870 census to 2,696 in the 1880 census, the show painted a vivid picture of frontier life. One intriguing facet of the series lay in its visual evolution. While the first episode aired in color, the subsequent season's narratives unfolded in the timeless shades of black and white. However, the vibrancy of color was reintroduced in the third season, captivating viewers with the vivid landscapes and period authenticity. Amidst the passing of stars from other iconic Western shows, Robert Fuller stands as one of the last surviving male protagonists from a 1950s Western series. As the co-star of Larry Me, Fuller's embodiment of Jess Harper became an indelible part of the show's legacy. With the 2016 farewells of Peter Brown and Hugh O'Brien, Known for their roles in Lawman and the Life and Legend of Wyatt Earp respectively, Fuller and his portrayal remain a testament to the enduring allure of the Western genre. The passage of time has left its mark on the Western landscape of television, but Fuller's presence as one of the last living connections to that era keeps the spirit of the Old West alive. As the curtain falls on many of these storied actors, their legacy continues to ride on, a reminder of the days when the Wild West rode tall on the small screen. In the heart of television history, Laramie emerges as a defining relic, encapsulating the spirit of the frontier and the indomitable figures who inhabited it. A reminder of a bygone era, the show endures as a testament to the enduring appeal of the Western Laramie storytelling. Peacock, a colorful revolution in television broadcasting in the early days of television, black and white screens dominated living rooms across America, providing a limited visual experience. However, in 1962, a significant transformation occurred with the switch to regular color broadcasts, marking the dawn of a more vibrant era. Among the pioneers of this colorful revolution was the 1959 TV series Laramie, which became synonymous with the inauguration of NBC's iconic Peacock logo. As screens started to radiate with brilliant hues, Laramie stood as a trailblazer, embracing the new wave of technology. The show, which revolved around the trials and tribulations of life in the Old West, found itself uniquely positioned to adopt the fresh palette of colors that were now available. The transition was marked by the introduction of the legendary Larry Me Peacock, a kaleidoscope of concentric color circles, accompanied by the announcement that the forthcoming program would be presented in living color. This transformation was more than just a visual upgrade. It signified a new era in television history. The Laramie Peacock became a symbol of progress, capturing the imagination of viewers and ushering in an age of vibrant entertainment. The emblematic logo not only represented a single show, but also embodied the aspirations of the medium itself, pushing boundaries and exploring new frontiers of storytelling. The impact of Laramie and its colorful metamorphosis extended far beyond the United States. Across the Pacific, in the land of the rising sun, the show achieved unexpected and unprecedented success. In Japan, Lurimi captured the hearts of audiences with its depiction of the American West. The series garnered a remarkable 43% rating, making it one of the most triumphantly received American television shows in the country's history. The show's popularity in Japan reached such heights that when one of its stars, Robert Fuller, visited in 1961, he was greeted by an astonishing spectacle. Around 100,000 fervent fans thronged Hainda Airport to catch a glimpse of the charismatic actor. Fuller's reception rivaled the enthusiastic welcome the Beatles would later receive upon their own arrival in Japan in 1966. The success of Larry Me transcended borders, cultures, and even technological shifts. It epitomized the power of television to unite diverse audiences and to create lasting impressions. From its pioneering embrace of color broadcasts to its unexpected triumph in a distant land, Larry Me remains a testament to the enduring impact of innovative storytelling. So, the next time you spot the vibrant peacock feathers of NBC's iconic logo, remember that nestled within those colorful plumes lies the legacy of a TV series that helped paint the world with the hues of entertainment's future. This is the story of the Laramie Peacock, a symbol of transformation, innovation, and the enduring magic of television.
Authentic ranch life unveiled, Laramie's unconventional grit in the golden age of television, where westerns galloped across the screen. One series dared to break the mold with an unparalleled authenticity that left audiences in awe. The 1959 TV series Laramie not only brought rugged tales of the Old West into homes, but introduced a groundbreaking approach to its lead characters and their chores, creating a realism seldom seen on the small screen. Unlike its counterparts, Laramie presented protagonists who didn't just saunter through their scenes, they worked, they toiled, and they lived the ranch life. Slim Sherman and Jess Harper, portrayed by John Smith and Robert Fuller, were near cowboys. They were wood choppers, cooks, dishwashers, laundrymen, and jack of all trades essential to the daily functioning of the Sherman Ranch and Relay Station. This dedication to portraying the gritty reality of ranch life set Laramie apart from its contemporaries. The decision to showcase the laborious tasks involved in ranching was a deliberate one. The show's creators recognized the opportunity to deepen character development while capturing the essence of the American frontier. Through sweat and effort, the on-screen partnership of Slim and Jess felt genuine, resonating with audiences who craved authenticity in their televised escapades. Interestingly, the very same set that brought the Sherman Ranch to life had another role to play. In a crossover twist, the set moonlighted as a backdrop for an episode of Wagon Train, the Larry Hanify story showcasing the versatility and resourcefulness of production teams at the time. While Larry Me showcased the grid of the West, it did fall short in some respects. The show's reference to Native Americans as red sticks may have been reflective of the era's limited understanding, but it serves as a stark reminder of the progress yet to be made in representation and sensitivity. In an era of Westerns that often glorified the romanticized West, Larry Me dared to present the mundane alongside the dramatic, giving audiences a taste of true ranch life. The show's commitment to realism, even in its imperfections, marked a turning point in television history and remains a testament to the power of authenticity on screen. As we draw the curtain on our journey through the captivating landscapes of the 1959 TV series, Laura, we leave you with an invitation to a realm where dust settles, echoes of hoofbeats linger, and the spirit of the Old West dances in the wind. As you mull over the tales of Slim Sherman and Jess Harper, perhaps you find yourself waltzing through your own cherished memories, a silent nod to the past, a glimpse of the adventures that have etched themselves into your own tapestry. Just as the characters rode into the sunset after each episode, each of us carries a piece of Larry Me within, a piece that sparks memories of late night viewings, shared laughs, or contemplative moments. It's the power of storytelling that unites us across time, making Larry Me not just a series, but a thread woven into the fabric of our lives. What landscapes did your imagination traverse as you watched? Which character's journey resonated most deeply? How did Larry Me paint strokes on your own canvas of experiences? We invite you to share these thoughts, to unravel the tales you hold close, and to create a tapestry of reflections that mirrors the series itself. Thank you for riding alongside us through the frontier of Larry Me. Your time and interest are treasures we hold dear. Until our next adventure, keep those memories alive, for they are the essence of what makes this series timeless. Warmly, your name.